it seems like a lot of the tactics from the extreme left when it comes to silencing people backfires. Every single person that they try to shut down in response to their efforts of shutting them, uh, trying to be shut down, uh, they got they got famous. They, they, be, they become a, a, a household name or a, a, they manage to get a global audience. I don't know if they care. They have, to, they have to see that this is backfiring, which is beautiful, by the way, because um, it's, it's the same way when Muslims try to uh, shut down people when it comes to drawing Muhammad or other stuff. It backfires. And all of a sudden now we have an annual event for it. It's good that it backfires because people see that you can't silence people if you try. Actually, you, you're amplifying their voices. But yeah, I think that's what is happening. But let me see. So I don't like G, uh, JP's religious self, but I don't agree with, but I do agree with him on other things. So yeah, but the thing is that his religious stuff is the most important. And, and I, this is why I think this weekend's event was such a historic event. I do think uh, Jordan Peterson does represent the last attempts of a dying, the dying ideology that is Christianity to, to remain relevant. And I think he's like one of the last standing soldiers for Christianity. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.